are four binary operations. A binary operation is everything else. All we've looked at really so far when we go A plus B, set of all A, and the set of all B added together, or a, a constant like 2 and 5 added together. We've had subtraction. We've had division. We've had multiplication. What other ways can you combine A and B? I can think of two more. Yeah, A to the B and B to the A. Can you think of any other ones? Oh, right, yep. You could do B minus A and B divided by A. Anything else you can think of? And, that, and we'll leave out the other functions. I'm just talking ways of combining A and B. You know, I'd say factorial is kind of a function, right? Mod, I think mod would count. I'd say A is congruent to B mod, you know, A maybe. And you could do, you know, stuff like that. That would just be zero. The point is, is that if that's all you saw of operations, you're just touching the surface. Binary operation says, when I say A star B, I'm going to mean something entirely different, but I'm going to define it. So in this example, A star B is take A, add 2B, and subtract 3. And that's the new operation A star B. I've seen this on uh, math exams, the uh, N, uh, NC, not NCTM, the, what's the one um, that you guys, the AMC test, they do these a lot. Uh, take this A star B and you have 0 star 3. So you take 0 plus 2 times 3 minus 3, and what's that going to be? 6 minus 3 is 3. Did I do that right? A is 0. 2 times 3 minus 3. Yeah, C is 3. And you could do that with any combination you want. But what's cool is, is we can make these up. So guess what our big job is going to be? Is to look at properties of binaries. So we'll look at that in the next two days. The set of all S is closed under binary, means that you're defining the elements A star B in S. And when you define those, it, that is going to be the closure that's going to impact whether you can do certain things with that binary. So I think they make a great point here. Binary operation can include it, but you don't want to assume it does not necessarily include closure. So, for example, given the set of integers z, binary operation is closed, okay, uh, under the integers. The idea there is, is your answer is an integer. Okay. And I think the one that's probably the most helpful is this one. Determine whether binary operations are closed. Now, stop. This is the part you're going to have the most trouble with. So look up here. We're closed under what? Integers, okay? So here's A star B. A star B is A plus B over A squared. So try an odd number for one of those. We're going to try uh, a value. So what you're going to do to check these is just try a couple values. 2 plus 3 over 2 squared. Is 5 over 4 an integer? Is it a closed under integer? No. Since it's not the binary operation is not closed under the integer. Okay, we can check out check out C here. A star B. A plus B is minus 3AB. So try that 2 and 3 again. 2 star 3 is 2 plus 3 minus 3 times 2 times 3, which is 5 minus 3 times 6. Uh, 5 minus 18, is that still an integer? Yep. 
And so what they did here is since A and B are integers, you add, that'll be an integer. Your product will be an integer. And if you combine it the way they did, it's still going to be an integer. So check it first. And then use logic to figure out whether it's closed or not. And that's it for binary. That's it. So you're going to try these. I do want to remind you that in number one, a star B is a different function than A diamond B. So they're going to, I shouldn't say function, it's a, an operation. So this is different than this. 